family here. A lot of you know uh, my brother Jim, Daniel, come from the Warrior family. Yeah. Very, very yeah, proud sir. family, big family. And so today, you know, uh, my nephew says this, uh, it's something that maybe they should have done some time back to bring these two young ones into the arena. But there is no set time, no set time. Main thing is that you set a goal and you take care of it. And today is a day that they want to bring these two into the arena. Now, like I said on my nephew's side, they come from the warrior family, and even for the back, you know, they uh, got relations with Yellowberry and Standing Buffalo. You all know the uh, Standing Buffalo, the old man, Chief Standing Buffalo, he had several songs that uh, can be used at any time. But uh, we just want to say that much. Now, Aaliyah here now, she also has a rich heritage coming from the Gizwater family. Gizwater family. Now my nephew, he has raised her as his own. This is his daughter. There's no drawing any lines anything like that. Today, he says this, that what's happening today with his two daughters is strictly out of love for both of them. He feels strongly about that. And we know that his feelings are gonna carry on for these girls. They already, they already have been accustomed to their way of life. And I wanna appreciate Daniel for doing this today and for caring for Aaliyah as his own. You know, we have a lot in our way as Ponca people in a way of extended family, blended family. Today is a prime example of that for these two lovely young ladies here. And so today, they're gonna make a way into the arena for both of them. This is a wish of my nephew. And you see him, his father is here too, and some of the other family. But like I said, big family here, big family. These two girls represent big family, the Warriors, Giswaters. So today, they're gonna do the best they can to carry on with what we know is our tradition here in this sacred circle. So they have asked my niece here, Raven, Springwater, Marshall, to come up here and do the honors we all know that Raven is military. She made that choice and she's a former Ponca princess, so no better person to do the honors of putting these plumes on these little ones here. So we're gonna do this at this time. No, Does it run just like a video? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Is it recording? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, better not be. Don't be quiet. Man. You're supposed to say yes, ma'am. Yeah. Say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Yeah. And you know, we always talk about uh, family support family support and uh, so today you can see Aaliyah's mother's here too and uh, it's a uh, like a joint effort to do the best they can to present to all of you these two young ladies so we appreciate the family support The other day on Thursday, we talked about this particular ceremony and what it means to our children and to 
the parents, the folks, the relatives. It's just not something that we do out of the ordinary. It's a tradition, a custom here, that they make that complete circle around the drum, this kuge, for reasons of being blessed by Wakanda. We always consider this drum as our grandfather. Sometimes we refer to Wakanda as our grandfather. It's the same. So we're wishing many blessings for the future of these two lovely young ladies. Singers, you see what uh, took place here, the plume of two little beautiful little, little granddaughters, the uh, children of my nephew here, Daniel, and, and my brother here, Jim. And <clears throat> you know, uh, a, a while back, yeah, maybe uh, three weeks ago, somewhere along in there, my, my, my nephew, Daniel, he got in touch with me, contacted me, and we talked and we visited. And uh, me and my brother here, Jim, here, we, we, we had the opportunity to, to serve together. You know, this day here, as we mentioned today, is a, a, a Ponca day. Ponca day. And, and in years past, uh, the, our chiefs used to, have, this used to be their day. People, our, our chairmen, our chiefs, people that the council, this is a the time they, they would use to, to express themselves to the tribe, to the people. And a few years ago, when uh, Jim and I we served together on our council, that's what he said. He said, Brother, we ought to have a, a special, even though we're not on no staff, but we're chosen uh, to, to help our tribe people. So we did. He had a special, and I had a special, and I think my grandson, Steve Pitzel, had a special. So we're just doing our part at that time, just to try to carry on that uh, tradition of this day, the Ponca Day. All the new Dahongas of the, of the tribe, the people, they come out and express themselves. So that was probably the intent again this year here. My brother Jim, he, his term's gonna be going uh, going out to the, this year, this coming December. And uh, just wanna <clears throat> say uh, to, to the, the people here, he's, he's done, a, done what, what he could. And, and just like any, anything else, you know, uh, I always say one person can't do it. You can't, you can't change things, you can have all the the greatest ideas that, that you have, but if if it doesn't, you can't convince others to, to, to follow or to try it, then we'll, we'll never know if we're gonna be six, successful or not. Just what I was talking about with my, my uh, nephew Pete Buffalo, his father, Stacy, he ran into that same same predicament way back in, in 79, 80. So you would think as a people, we would have learned by now, but we haven't, so we don't know how long it's gonna be. That's why our, our young people are important to us now, or maybe next generation or two will finally turn things around and 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 and, and be be successful, be progressive for our, our people. But my brother here, Jim, he's he served in that capacity here these past few years, and uh, and I can tell you tell you right now as I stand here with him that he's he's done a good job, good honest person who cares for the tribe who actually puts the tribe first in all his thoughts, his thinking. And, 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 and through that, he's, he might say he's actually uh, thwarted or stopped some things that may not have been, been good for the tribe. There's a lot of things that, that has taken place that uh, you, you don't know about, both good and, and not so good, but he's, he's, he has stood for the tribe. And I always think, you know, the way I think here to today, I always think, well, maybe that's part of a, a heritage or, or part of your DNA that's handed down. As we know, this family comes from Standing Buffalo. That's his uh, grandpa, great-grandpa, one of our most uh, revered uh, chiefs among our people. True warrior, uh, the, in charge of this Heloska dance that, that we witnessed here the other day. That's where he can come from. And then here, uh, when he was growing up, just at a, at a young, young age, 
probably just about two years old, so three years old. Through tragedy, he lost his father. Grew up without a, a father. The two most things important in a, a, a stabilization of a, of a child, of a, of a human being, got to have good, solid direction, got to have a good, solid home, mother and a father. We see the, the, the social ills of our, of our communities all across the country, single parents. But somehow, through the, the grace of God, he come through real good. And a lot of that is tribute to the family, the family intact, entitlement of the family. There's his uncles, his, his, his grandfather, Fritz Warrior, his mama, Isabel. His uncles, Eli Warrior, Preston Warrior, Jesse Grant, Randy Redleaf, all those, his uncles, they, they took him under, under their wing. When they seen him getting out of line or whatever, would talk to him, come along. So they took the place, you might say, of his father and probably at a critical time, crucial time in his life. So somewhere in there, the uh, good, strong values was instilled in him to come out and work. Don't, don't worry about that. They always say his grandma is to tell him to make a way for yourself. Oh, hey, God, make a way for yourself. Don't wait on anybody to, to help you. Just do what you can. So he done that to high school, graduated, went to work. Started off here at the, as a, went into the law enforcement. Started up at uh, Newkirk, the police department. A little while later, come down here to Ponca City. Just recently retired here this past Spring retired to 25 years with the Punk City Police Force. Punk City Police Department worked his way up to be a detective. And as we all know, that type of, a, of an employment is, is very, very dangerous. Today, I would always say today, every generation there's different types of problems that confront our, our, our young people. Today, there's a lot of uh, activities out there, gangs, drugs, alcohol. It seems like people, we see it today on the news every, every day. It seems like that's all the news is filled with. People getting killed, people getting shot. There's been attacks on even the police force, law enforcement. He's come through that. And as law enforcement people, too, you get to see the good side of people, and you also see the evil side of people. But you have to have a good, strong character. St stabilization here in your life here to be able to withstand all of that and still have good common sense and feeling compassion for people. And that's the way my, my brother is here, Jim, Sharon. So his, his two sons here, Daniel and his, other, his brother here, it's like anyone else, they're proud of their, their father. They don't care what anybody else thinks, but to them, he's the best father that you could have. They know what he, he went through, they know what he's going through, and, but they appreciate him very, very much for being a good father. And to them, and I agree with them, what he's done, what he's come through, and his 25 years of service for the, not only our Indian community, but the community in this area, did an outstanding service. They're proud of that. A punk is just have a real simple word. Ooh, Dashkaka means you've done something good. Can't say it any better than that. Can't go any kind of a meaning higher than that. Just ooh, Dashkaka, you've done good. So my, my, my nephew asked me, and I told him, so I, I would try to do my best. He asked me to, to and this could be a surprise to my brother, but they wanted a song for him today. So I, I tried to put something together for him to make a song for him today. So today I'm gonna to sing this song for the very first time 
to be the song of my brother here, Jim, Jim Sharon.